2023 has been a dark year for Creative Assembly and the Total War series, albeit with some highlights as well. Whether we're talking the pricing of DLC, a new game very few people actually wanted, or the cancellation of a new title and shakeup of company manpower, I don't think the series has experienced a year quite as dark as this one, at least where the public and the players are concerned. I mean, at least Rome 2 was an anticipated title, right? On the other hand, the recent debacle has seemed to change Creative Assembly's approach to patching and community support, at least as far as Warhammer 3 is concerned, with that game having received much better and quicker updates in the last two months than in the prior year. But that is 2023 for you, a year we are putting firmly behind us, which is something I am completely fine with. That doesn't mean it won't have an impact on the future though, and 2024 is exactly what I want to talk to you about today. You see, even though times are looking grim, Total War is likely to go nowhere. In fact, the past year has likely been a wake-up call for Creative Assembly, at least that is my wishful thinking, especially considering that the Total War series is the bread and butter of that company. But what needs to happen going forward is what I've been hammering down time and time again. CA must listen to the needs of the community. So what might 2024 hold for us, and will we get our wishes fulfilled? There are several games or developments that might be underway, but if we do some digging or simple speculation, we might be closer to the truth than you might initially believe. The most likely title to come out of Total War in 2024 though, is definitely Three Kingdoms 2. In other words, another title dedicated to ancient China. The reason why I believe so, is because we have already gotten a confirmation that the game is in the works. Back when Three Kingdoms was deemed finished by CA, they simultaneously put out a video kind of laying out the future for that subseries, stating that work on the next Three Kingdoms experience was underway. There wasn't much else information we received back then, or even now for that matter. In fact, we mostly saw dev speaking and some concept art. But remember, this video and this mythical game was revealed in early 2021. Now that's soon going to be around three whole years ago, which is indeed a relatively long time between vague announcement and full announcement, let alone release. Now I never liked Three Kingdoms all that much truth be told, despite it having some very cool innovations in diplomacy and faction distinctiveness, but a lot of fans of that game were very understandably upset when Three Kingdoms stopped releasing new campaigns, perhaps most of all because the game never actually reached the true Three Kingdoms era. In addition, Three Kingdoms is one of the absolute best-selling Total War games of all time, which is a big incentive for Creative Assembly to make another one. If this wasn't relevant enough as a general business decision, it's arguably and probably even more relevant now too, because of the major financial loss incurred by the cancellation of Hyenas. I know a lot of people would be happy with the Three Kingdoms too, I'd certainly be interested in seeing which changes were being made, but to me, this would be perhaps my least preferred announcement, even though it's probably the most likely to happen. And now for some wishful thinking, but still rooted in reality. 2024 is getting closer and closer to Medieval 2's 20th anniversary, and even though that anniversary would be in 2026, 2024 is dangerously close. Personally, I have little doubt that a Medieval 3 title is being worked on, since Creative Assembly themselves have said that there will be a Medieval 3 at some point. But if it'll be a 2024 release, if I had to guess, I'd say no. I do believe that Medieval 3 has been in development for some time, but that CA would make certain that it's as polished and complete as can be on launch, and that they'll spend as much time as they absolutely can on it. Because Medieval 3 is the joker up CA's sleeve, the title quite literally everyone is waiting for, whether they will admit it or not. Some of us have waited a decade or more already, and considering that there were only about 4 years time between Medieval 1 and 2, I think we're overdue here. That's all to say that CA cannot botch this one. I don't think 2024 will be the year, and even though 2025 is possible, I do think they'd like to capitalize on the 20th anniversary if time and finances allow. But what can happen before a Medieval 3 though, which I think is more likely, is the release of a Medieval 2 Remastered, and this might happen in 2024. Think of it this way, ROM Remastered released in 2021, quite a long time ago already actually. But in 2022, Medieval 2 and Medieval 2 Kingdoms released on iOS and Android, following in the footsteps of ROM itself, which did release its first iPad version in 2016, but then released on mobile platforms in 2018, with Barbarian Invasion releasing a year later in 2019, and Alexander coming out later that same year. There were roughly a year and a half between the releases of ROM Total War Alexander and the release of ROM Remastered. And so far, it's been essentially exactly one year since the release of Medieval 2 Kingdoms for iOS and Android. That means that by the time April or May rolls around, 
In other words, the same season that Rome Remastered released, it would have been exactly a year and a half later, just like with the Rome games and the remaster. Now, I have personally reached out to Feral several times for information, but have been shut down every time, saying that there's no comment or plans for a Medieval 2 Remastered by Feral. And I think they're getting pretty annoyed with me for asking at this point. But just because Feral doesn't have any information, or if the information I've been given, namely that there are no plans, is true, doesn't mean there's no Medieval 2 Remastered in development at all. Because there is indeed a chance that Creative Assembly itself is developing a Medieval 2 Remastered. The reason I'm suggesting this is twofold. First of all, even though I think Rome Remastered was fun at launch and has since developed into being so much better, many dislike the game for changing the look and UI too much. And even though I over time have become very comfortable with the changes, I did and do share some of the criticism. These arguments and feelings dominated the lead up to the game's release, and probably harmed its sales as a result. This is probably a situation CA would like to avoid in the future, and whether that means to co-develop the game alongside Feral, or to take full control themselves, I think it's likely that they take a much heavier hand in a potential Medieval 2 Remasters development process. The second reason is that alleged leaks, and do know that these are rumors that I cannot independently verify, suggest that CA had plans for more remasters, but that they too were unhappy with the Rome Remaster work done by Feral, and essentially put those plans on ice. Now this doesn't sound completely outlandish or anything, but it does sound a bit extreme. I mean, just a year after Rome Remastered, CA did partner with Feral again to release those mobile versions of Medieval 2 after all, which Feral did an absolute banger job on by the way. In other words, I can pretty much take or leave these rumors, but they are there, and even though I'd love for Feral to return and bring their newfound knowledge and feedback into Medieval 2 Remastered, I'd be just as happy if Creative Assembly took charge themselves. Because if I have to be completely honest and for real for real on God with you, I kinda secretly want a Medieval 2 Remastered more than Medieval 3. I mean, Medieval 2 already feels and plays so well. I'm just imagining this thing with some updated graphics, modernized controls, and perhaps even better modding support, and voila essentially, here we have perhaps the best Total War game of all time. And yes, I do in fact believe Medieval 2 Remastered can become a thing in 2024, I say confidently, not at all overdosing and almost choking on Hopium. Now even though Warhammer 3 is likely to keep on churning out DLCs and updates for a while, Warhammer 3 is the last game in that trilogy, albeit a very successful one. It goes without saying that CA would want to replace it with a new trilogy if possible, and many have for some time now begun to hope for a Total War Warhammer 40k. 40k is an alternate Warhammer setting set in a sci-fi universe, one that admittedly will demand quite a few changes from the regular Total War formula. Now that's not a bad thing in itself, I just personally don't know how much there is to these rumors. Either way, I expect that CA would want quite some time between announcement and release of this game, for the hype itself, and seeing how we're still so close to Warhammer 3's release, I think a 40k, if happening at all, is still a few years away. There is something else to consider here though, and that is the fact that Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2, a highly anticipated title among the fans of the universe, is releasing September 9, 2024. Now that's almost in a year granted, so if a Total War 40k could ride on that hype, assuming that the game is good and popular, could suggest that we'll see a Total War 40k title perhaps sometime in 2025. In all honesty, I really do think that a Three Kingdoms 2, a Medieval 3, or a Medieval 2 Remastered are the most likely and viable immediate options here. Pharaoh was indeed a sucker punch that came out of nowhere, but I don't think CA has some completely never heard of before title out their sleeve this time, even though that would admittedly be very interesting. This means that no, I don't think CA is opting for, a, say, a Rome 3, an Empire 2, a Shogun 3, or something completely different anytime soon. If anything, we're probably lucky to get anything next year. Lucky being a daring word here since, well, even if something is released, there is the chance that it won't be up your alley if you're in it only for the history or the fantasy slash sci-fi stuff. Of course, apart from completely new games, there are other things to look out for. Warhammer 3's Thrones of Decay DLC, which will finally include an update to the Empire, is likely to be delayed to sometime in 2024. And for Total War Pharaoh, a game with quite a few updates in store or joint Bronze Age mashup with Choice Campaign, but that remains to be seen and so far there's no news on the matter. Personally, all I want is for historical Total War fans to get some true love, and even though I can still wait for Medieval 3, I'd really love a Medieval 2 remastered while I wait. So I guess that's my personal wish for Total War in 2024. But what are your wishes, hopes and dreams, and do you think my predictions are accurate? Let me know in the comments, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!